Hello, everybody. My name is Troy Bernier. I'm with the Miami International Science Fiction Film Festival, and we have a screenwriter with us today. And we have Miss Marie Kelly, all the way from Australia. All the way from Hello. Australia, Melbourne, Australia. And we're going to be talking a little bit about her screenplay called Epidemic. And Epidemic is a feature-length science fiction drama about a girl with telekinetic powers finding her place in a post-war military-driven world, while also protecting herself from those who govern her city. Well, how are you doing, Marie? How's it going? I'm doing really well, thank you, Troy. I'm feeling fantastic. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm 16 hours ahead, so I know the future. 16 hours ahead puts you in another day. You're a day ahead of us then. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Cool. So I've been writing pretty much as long as I can remember. I love storytelling. So I'm also an actor as well. And this screenplay I started writing just after I finished my master's of screenwriting at university. And I was really interested in the idea of invisible illnesses and invisible strengths. Mm -hmm. So kind of the whole concept of not judging someone by how they look. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, we don't want to give away too much, so we'll just do a little breadcrumbs. Okay. Just a little breadcrumbs. And tell us a little bit about the characters and the story, you know, a little bit, just tiny bit about what it's about. What's the story epidemic all about? So at the very, very start of the story, we discover and see that a mass bionuclear warfare has happened on this city. And everyone that was sick is now cured, but they're cured to a point where they now have either telekinetic powers or telepathic powers, mm. but they still look sick. So they're perfectly healthy, but say, for example, there's a character who was five years old when this warfare happened. He was being treated for a very rare type of leukemia. And he still looks very sick. His hair hasn't grown back. He still has jaundice and he looks quite underweight. But he is potentially the most powerful person in this world. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So, wow. yeah, that's a, li that's a little bit about what we discover at the very start of the film. Mm -hmm. And it kind of takes off from there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the classic, you know, good versus evil. People want to use power for good. People want to use power for evil. And, well, you'll have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've got, you've got to read it. Yeah, you've got to read it, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what were your inspirations to, uh, to writing science fiction? What, what inspired you? So, weirdly, um, I'm naturally more of a comedy writer. I love comedy. Uh, but when I started my master's of screenwriting, I told myself I wanted to really push myself and challenge myself, write something that I'd never written before and that was sci-fi right. so i first started writing sci-fi at university and then now my brain's just in it i want to you know what if the world was a different way uh what if you know there was something that changed everything about how we function as humans or how we function in society or how our world functions and it just the ideas just don't stop now that I've discovered writing for sci-fi. That's neat. That's neat. Um, is this your first, second, or many? This, ooh, the, I would say this is uh, it's my second okay. feature-length sci-fi okay. and probably my fourth sci-fi story. So okay. I wrote um, a short film that kind of inspired this uh it's about a little boy who can um make everyone else at his um foster home 
really happy, make all the little kids really happy by things he can do with his mind. He can pr make them feel like they're underwater, take them to places that they'd rather be. And then things just started changing from there. Yeah. All right. That's cool. So can you, um, can you speak on how the screenplay has performed so far? Yes. Uh, so it was a finalist at the Australasian Festival of Time late last year. And I've been very tentative, I guess, about submitting it to festivals because when is a writer, when have the, has a writer really finished writing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my problem. I'm like, oh, is it really finished? So uh, there's, still, there's still some tweaks you have in mind. Yeah, well, that's that's okay. the problem when you've um, sometimes I'll be in bed, I'll just go, oh my gosh, yeah. what if this? And it's it could be like the smallest word or the biggest thing, and yeah, that's that's the problem with writers. We can't let go. <laughs> well, you know, I can only tell you that, um, as you know, we do evaluate the screenplays, so mm. there will be a, an evaluation coming your way, which is always Thank good. You. And, Might make me stop writing. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, I, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what's in that evaluation because I'm not I'm not the screenplay judge, but um, and there are several screenplay judges. So um, you know, so everybody loves their content and they're happy with it. So <clears throat> tell me one other one other thing, and that is, why do we need to make this into a film? Hmm. Excellent question. Uh, I think because it's, I've written something, there's a character in it that absolutely terrifies me. If I were to come up against them in real life, mm -hmm. I would be terrified. But I also feel so empowered by other characters that have written, for example, the small boy right. um, with leukemia. So I think if, if characters can make you feel something, then I think that's a story that needs to be told. If a story can make you feel fear or f frustration right. or bewilderment and excitement, then that's a story that needs to be told, story that needs to be shown. And not to um, brag, but I think I've achieved a little bit of that in my, in my screenplay. And it's also, I think, something we haven't quite seen yet. Okay. So there's a level of originality in your work that, you know, that makes it all the more reason to turn it into a uh, a finished it's, work to a, into, a, into it's, a film. Yeah, something I haven't seen yet, and that's yeah. kind of why I wrote it, because I, I like writing things I haven't seen, or things I think I haven't seen. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, listen, um, there will be some more opportunities uh, during the festival to hang out with us and to definitely tell us your thoughts on your work and uh, how you feel about the festival, of course, because yeah. we definitely like to have you during our screenings and so forth. We always love people's opinion. So don't hesitate to hit one of us up when you see us with the microphone in this virtual world that we're living in right now. And yeah. Till next time. Till next time. Thank you so much for having me. All right, folks, and here we go. Moving on to our next section. Thank you.